What's the personality type of Zendaya? In today's video, we're gonna try and figure that out. You are about to take Vanity Fair's Proust questionnaire. You will be asked 35 questions in rapid succession in order to- What is your greatest fear? I think is probably disappointing the ones that I, that I care about. What is the trait you most deplore in yourself? Ooh, I like to think I don't deplore anything about myself. I mean, there's things I can improve on, like my vocabulary. Clarifying, questioning a bit. What do you consider the most overrated virtue? I don't know if they're overrated. I think you kind of, you know, like patience is like key. It really is like- Again, some natural thinking about things, questioning them a little, clarifying. One of the things I'm noticing is Zendaya's smile appears and disappears. It's like she turns it on and she turns it off. She can go from being very composed or even sometimes deadpan to going, hey, I want to present a smile here. I think it makes sense for me to loosen up, present myself in a warmer, conscientious way here. There's certain personality types where their emotional expressive side pops out in a very internally motivated way. How things make them feel, what they're internally feeling inside, bubbles up, splashes out on their face without them thinking about it. It's strikingly authentic and unfiltered. On the other hand though, there's other personality types that use something called extroverted feeling, which makes them emote and express themselves in a slightly different way. Extroverted feelers are extremely clued into how they emotionally and socially impact other people. They naturally are paying attention to people dynamics, group dynamics, social interplay, social expectations, and they know how to adjust how they express themselves, how they present themselves to fit in with all that, to collaborate with that a little bit better. Because they're so naturally clued into balancing other people out, accommodating other people's needs and social expectations, all the FJ personality types that use extroverted feeling all the time tend to emote express themselves in a slightly more controlled, composed, performative way. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine and today I am hanging out with Zendaya from Shake It Up. How are you doing today? I'm very good, how about you? I am wonderful, Ugh. yes, so. Do you see how Zendaya is carrying herself, how she knows when to add a smile, a comment, to balance the other person out, to make them feel good? Even from a very young age, you can see Zendaya has natural intuition about this. Today. I'm very good, how about you? I am wonderful, Ugh. yes, so. So since this is Rock Forever Magazine, I thought it'd be good to start off with some Rock Forever trivia about your, your castmates. Okay. Right. Do you see how her smile, which was performed, extroverted for the other person, slightly disappears when it doesn't make sense for it to be there? The other girl starts sharing her question and Zendaya restrains her self-expression to give space for the other person. I don't want to react in a way that steps on that person's toes where I talk out of turn. I need to be intentional about how I emote and express so that this interaction is a little better, so that it makes more sense. Extroverted feelers are aware of this, thinking about this stuff all the time. Singer, actor, anything, who would it be? Um, let's see, that's really tough because we've had we've had some really awesome people. Yes. But um my like dream 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 girl star would probably be like Beyonce because no she's way. super cool. That's so and good. like how cool would that be? She would it like would. Teach her to dance and everything. I mean she could do like a little performance and she could do right? Oh I'm a single lady. Right? I'm a single lady. Zendaya does express herself, her individuality, but notice how she checks in with the interviewer. Performance and she could do right? Oh I'm a single lady. I'm right? Sing right? Right? How cool would that be? Sort of tosses the ball, the attention back to the interviewer to include her more in the interaction. Really sweet to let us into their home because we were on their set. Yeah. And so they were really um, welcoming. So yeah, and they're right next door to us. So oh. yeah, they're really so nice. So you must people. be pretty good friends with them. I mean, since yeah. they're right next door. Uh, they're right next door. So we see them all the time going to lunch and stuff like that. Look at how good she is at extroverting feeling to make the other person feel more seen, heard, included. Because Zendaya uses extroverted feeling, these social adjustments, accommodations, it's not just media training, it's a part of Zendaya's personality. What is the quality you most like in a man? Um, I'm most like in a person, how about that? The way she pushes back and actually adjusts, changes the questions so that she can answer them more accurately, so that they actually sort of make sense to her. This is a small clue Zendaya's personality type uses something called introverted thinking, a logical, sorting, qualifying, decision-making style that really values accuracy, clarity, correctness. It naturally likes questioning things, getting a little more precise and splitting hairs. Where would you most like to live? somewhere on a lot of land where I can just kind of hide out and like, I don't know, have like a vegetable garden and shit and just like 
have everything I need in one place and be amongst nature. Hide out, be amongst nature. It's way too early to call, but there are certain personality types that naturally are drawn to activities and experiences that help them be more in the moment, where they get to explore the outside world in a physical way, in a sensory way. This is because of a personality superpower called extroverted sensing. I like the idea of kind of being in a space where you're kind of detached from like the world a little bit and you can just walk around and be in nature. That definitely seems like she uses some extroverted sensing. Definitely not at full blast all the time, but there is this small part of her that does value being a little more engaged, less wondering about what could happen, what will happen, what has happened, but instead just being in the moment. But if I wasn't doing this, I'd be a teacher. I think teachers teacher. are the most valuable underpaid jobs that we have. Teaching, another very people-oriented, social impact-oriented thing. It's really hard for me to pick one thing. It's kind of a personality trait of mine is the inability to quite specifically choose. Interesting. Interesting. Favorite writers, you said. Sam Levinson. Why? <laughs> because um, Sam is a genius, in my opinion. Being honest and open and vulnerable, About which we've seen his, in some him. ways through Malcolm Talk Marie. to him almost every day and a true collaborator as well. And he'd read me 10 pages at a time and still yeah. felt that what I had to contribute. And plus, I, I know it's bad, but I don't, I don't read as much. And I often get bored. I get like anxious because I'm all only, I'm just thinking about how many more pages I have left to read. Here, her answer was way too long to include in the video, but I noticed she talked about things in a pretty thematic way. She sort of talked around things. Instead of answering the question directly, specifically, clearly, she slowly brought up a bunch of different things in different categories around the thing, related to the thing, to give a clear impression of what was interesting or meaningful to her about Sam Levinson. This way of explaining herself that's not very linear or clear, but instead a little bit more soupy, impressionistic, thematic, abstract. It's a clue Zendaya's personality type takes in information, thinks about things in an introverted, intuitive way. Introverted intuition is a personality superpower used by all the NJ personality types that likes thinking all the time about where things might be going. What abstract intuitive sense do I have about how things are connected, related? If I were to guess, project ahead, speculate forward, what do I think this might be about? What do I think is going to happen? Have you found that with fame, you've been able to see through fake friends? Of course, oh yeah. I've been able to see through fake friends like since the day I was born. Me and my dad, we're, we're the ones that are like, we have that look, you know, that, mm, mm -hmm. that I just, I've always been able to see through that. I, I've only kept around friends that I know have my back. And you have to like, it's like a, it's like a, um, like a little radar you have in your brain. You're like, mm, 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 I feel some sort of way about you. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm one of those people that I'm nice to, I'm nice to everyone. Yes. You know what I mean? And I'm always going to be cordial and be nice, but I'm just not going to let you into my circle, but I will always be friendly and kind to you. Notice there the friendly to everyone, but also some pretty clear personal boundaries. Also, that people radar Zendaya was talking about, it's actually pretty common for personality types that use introverted intuition and extroverted feeling all the time because the way their intuition, thinking ahead, abstract pattern spotting pops out, it usually relates to people. Where is this social interaction going? What is this person thinking? Is this going in a good direction or a bad direction? For these personality types, this intuition, this gut feeling, it is sort of like a radar. Sometimes they don't know exactly why they know what they know, but they can just sort of tell. Introverted intuition is really good at seeing things that might be coming. To be honest with you, I really don't think that would ever happen. Right. She's never been that kind of a person. Right. She's always been conscious of how she presents herself. Right. I'm so boring. My rebellious teenager ways are yeah. like staying up an extra half an hour. I don't like, you know, like all that partying or I'm, I'm really not interested in. It doesn't seem like she's doing, saying these things just because of some outside rules, social expectation. It really seems she as an individual has clarity about the fact that it's not that interesting to her. She prefers doing her completely own thing that really makes sense to her. What big plans do you have for your birthday? Yeah. Nothing at Absolutely all? Absolutely nothing. You're gonna I don't be, drink. But even when you turn 21? I won't drink. You won't drink? I just don't have a 
You know, my life is yeah. too stressful as it is. Oh, you know, because everybody, especially at this time, parties and I'm like the opposite of that. I'm like, honestly, no, I'll just chill at home. Maybe I'll even go on vacation. Introverted thinking, that logical decision-making style that I think is an important part of Zendaya's personality type. It's not just for randomly splitting hairs, clarifying and questioning things. It's much more about unemotionally sorting things out to figure out what actually makes sense to you at an individual level. I was like, I'm not getting a spray tan. Oh, you didn't go with the spray tan. No. I was like, I'm good with my natural color. And then I was like, you know, I wanted to make sure that all my outfits were appropriate. Like I'm saying, there's young girls watching me. Personality types that use introverted thinking are really good at taking a step back away from the group, emotions, outside expectations, and social norms to unemotionally sort out for themselves what they think matters, what they actually want to do. Introverted thinking is the side of Zendaya's personality type that does have some walls up, can shrug off off, laugh off, what other people think, what other people want from her. Is that the challenge you think for so many young stars is they let other people tell them how they should be or how they should look, how they should act? Of course, I think that that's just a general problem with people in general. Everybody listens to what everybody else tells them what to do, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, there's times where you should listen, but I feel like our, import, our, our own opinions of ourselves is what really, really matters. What's really interesting to me about Zendaya is how comfortably she bounces back and forth between extroverted feeling and introverted thinking. She's clearly very conscious of the outside group perspective, social norms, the influence she has, but at the same time, she also has pretty strong convictions about doing what actually makes sense to her. Zendaya has pretty clear, sharp personal boundaries and a strong sense of self her own personal opinions, her own personal take on things completely separate from the group. That's actually a huge clue. No, right? as you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she, we never discussed this, but I've been claiming uncle with her. It's yeah. all good. It's, so, it's okay? You know, I've been claiming it too. I just didn't think you knew. Oh, yeah, yeah. So well, we're okay. good. So we're good. good. Okay, we're cool. Good. It works out. It works out. But um, People have this idea that extra feeling, it's always just polite, conscientious behavior. It's fake. It's not very fun and expressive. When in reality, extroverted feeling can also be dynamic and expressive. Do you see how her extroverted feeling social awareness, people skills are so much more mature and developed here? She's a lot less stiff and forced, more charismatic and authentic, but at the same time, also very conscientious and agreeable. So I just didn't think you knew. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're good, so we're good. Okay, cool, 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 it works out. In 3D, IMAX, IMAX 3D, the one and only Zendaya is here. What? She's back. <laughs> Glad to be here. I love it here. I'm always excited when I get in this building. I'm like, where's Sway? <laughs> that's well, honestly, the hardest thing is to get me out the house, to yeah, get me to really? do things. That's, I, that's the hard part. She said that so confidently, unprompted. Honestly, the hardest part is to get me out the house, get me to do things. Are um, you more of an introvert? Oh, absolutely. Huh. Absolutely. I would much rather just be by myself in my own little group. I mean, I actually don't have a lot of friends in the entertainment industry yeah. exact necessarily because um, I just stay to myself, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, it's not not necessarily for any type of reason other than that's just who I am. I think she actually is an introvert. This repeated pattern of keeping to yourself amidst a group of people, being a bit of a loner, even though she's extremely charismatic and knows how to interact super well with people, I think she actually is more of an introvert. One, I appreciated the fact that we had no idea <laughs> that it was going on. And I For me, I just would rather just keep it to myself um that that way if anything happens if anything happens guessing ahead it stays in to itself and i can talk about it later mm -hmm. and i can say oh yeah this happened this happened this happened you just don't won't know when it happened <laughs> you know right. introvert intuitives do have this knack for nudging things controlling things so that they're less chaotic i see things going in lots of different directions and that's way too crazy for me so i'm going to trim some paths be thoughtful about what i share and do so that the path forward can be a slight less chaotic and confusing. You listen and you take in others' ideas. Again, it's like that not rushing into things exactly. thing. I, I try to think things through. You know what I mean? Sometimes I don't. 
mm-hmm. and that happens. But other times, I, I really try to think things through. From the personality patterns we saw pop up over and over again in today's video, quite strong extroverted feeling and introverted thinking, as well as the fingerprints of introverted intuition and extroverted sensing, I think Zendaya is an INFJ personality type. If you guys want to see some extra clips, extra analysis, and thoughts that didn't make it into today's video that explain exactly why I think Zendaya is an INFJ and not, for instance, like an ENFJ, this upcoming week on the new Patreon, link down below in the description, some content is definitely coming. I'm really excited to nerd out with you guys. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. Bye.